In my view, uh, the, the unique, important uh, thing about Connie Planck was that he um, yeah, enabled me to do things which, and probably enabled also other, other people to do things which, and so in the case of Neu, was very difficult to, uh, let's say, convince uh, Michael about. And uh, Connie was, uh, to me, was a very open person, though, and uh, any idea I, I came up with, so he never said, oh, no, impossible, or so on. But always try to, to get this done, to make it really possible. So, no? The third Neu album, was that the question also? Yeah, um, that was also economical problems. So I uh, founded my own label, Dingerland, in 1974 because I was not pleased with uh, what I learned about how the record industry behaves, and I thought better make your own company. And um, but with no idea, <laughs> I, I not no the idea was there, but with no. Uh, how can I say, experience in this, so, and also not being uh, really a businessman, more uh, aiming at uh, being an artist. So, of course, somehow you had to uh, end up with a certain bankruptcy, which I did. So, I uh, uh, yeah, founded this label and produced the Lilac Angels together with Connie Plunk, which was a quite plain rock and roll band. But Neu, I couldn't uh, because at that time it was there was a contract with uh, uh, Brain Records, so we had to make one more record. But to bit, uh, uh, let's say, get into this uh, business, so music business, I I thought it was a good idea to, uh, yeah, o uh, found uh, own label, uh, own label, and uh, by the end of the year, which was '74. Um, I had 5,000 LPs of the Lilac Angel standing there, and the industry offered me 8 marks per piece, but I needed 10 marks per piece, so I couldn't close that deal, at, that gap at that time. So maybe today I would uh, uh, react uh, uh, differently, I can imagine. But at that time I couldn't, so uh, I immediately had uh, 50,000 uh, marks minus. Uh, and uh, what could I do in this situation? Yeah, try to convince Michael to come back again to uh, Connie's studio and make uh, the number three uh, of the contract, also the number three album, the uh, Neue album. So, no? No, the contract was over three albums, so. and uh, yeah, Michel had no problems with that, and uh, yeah, that was in principle the way how the Noise 75 uh, functioned. So after, in principle, we already disbanded, so in 73. So. But uh, yeah, so a bit uh, Frank Zappa was uh, only in it for the money, uh, yeah, somehow we managed it. Yeah. I mean, there were also some changes. For instance, there was my brother drumming and Hans Lampe drumming, uh, with whom I was since '74 aiming and working on La Düsseldorf. So, no? as uh, let's say, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, my way to get out of this uh, noise situation, so where Michael, Michael left Düsseldorf, and what, uh, what can I do? So, no? So develop yourself and uh, look for some people, uh, yeah, with whom uh, it uh, might be possible to uh, get a bit further than with noise. So. And in principle, that functioned quite well. And also, they were there. So I, I mean, I've been working with them already for one year or one and a half, and and then we uh, we met uh, in. For the for the third Neue album, and in principle that functioned quite well. So, also, no. Yeah.